two, three, four. So he's got four legs made up of four triangles, right? This Colorado classroom has been transformed into a coral reef. And these preschoolers are discovering that shapes and numbers are a cinch to understand when they're part of a bigger lesson about cool sea creatures. Find the sea animal that has no brain and I know, five arms. I know, Starfish. You're right, and you said starfish too. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five. With support from the National Science Foundation, University of Denver education professors Julie Sarama and Douglas Clements are part of a team that developed the program called Connect for Learning. It's a new approach to basic skills for the pre-K set. Triangle or not? Let's see. Yeah! So we almost flipped the typical early childhood curriculum on its head. Let's not do literacy all day and try to get in a teeny bit of math and maybe science. Let's spend most of the time on science and mathematics with important literacy connections. The program blends academics, social and emotional development, and play. And it sets very high expectations. Good work, guys. Thank I think the biggest feedback we get from the parents is how excited they are about what the kids are learning. And I think, you know, that interaction, that dance between the parents, instead of, can you be quiet and stop doing, when your kid says, Mom, look at those hexagons, right? Wow. They're very proud. Their view of their own child changes. Show me the animal that has six legs and crawls on the land. Oh, and what is that, Isaac? A crab, that's right. Sally Wallace is director of the Early Learning Center at the All Souls School in Englewood, Colorado. She is working with the Sarama Clements team and the teachers at her school to implement the program. When the children start thinking mathematically, they become much more engaged learners in all areas. The reason I have been so excited about Connect for Learning is the content. Mm -hmm. um, you see that engagement because you are not underestimating the ability of kids. They are able to do this at a very high level. Taylor, Taylor, what should our eyes be? On the speaker, and right now, Back at the university, Clements and Sarama watch and analyze videos of teachers using the program. Their team looks for new ways to help instructors connect with youngsters of all backgrounds, especially kids in struggling schools or difficult home circumstances. One, two, three, fall down! Good job, guys! <laughs> and just like that starfish can sprout a new limb, these eager youngsters are constantly generating new questions and making deeper connections. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.